Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my quest for seas where this time um, at the request of Alex Munro uh, and this is why the little guys here are named this uh, we're playing the Type B of the Rock Cruiser I have no guns guys do you know that I have no guns well, we do have a level 3 uh, <clears throat> a drone control so I'm guessing the idea is but again he's only a boarding and I don't have enough people to board with <laughs> Kill 20, 20 ships by sector 6. Okay. So we have to kill lots and lots of people to get that last one. Complete two for the type C. I think we have to complete... Well, we have to win a... Get to get to level 8 or win on level 8. Uh, wait, anyway, type C. I don't even know how I'm getting them. <laughs> Start. The data that we carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. I can't even say this right. How many times have I said this and I can't say it right? But get to the exit before the pursuing Republic catches up. Tip. Oxygen. If the ship's room colour changes from tan to red, it means you're losing oxygen. Oxygen. One of these days I'm going to be able to learn to talk. Uh, crew will be damaged and fires will burn out in rooms with this hazardous stripes. Okay. I'm so tempted to go crazy ass on this and board, send the, send the boarding drone, board myself and leave my ship completely. And we already have level two of shields actually, I didn't notice that before, but that's, yeah, that's good. Um, how much is the basic level of autopilot? 20 scrap, yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to do then, because we're going to have... It's 15% chance of Asian, so it'll be 7.5% chance of Asian. Right, jump. We're going to try and swing up and then down through the nebulas and back down, I think. And also, this is like a central spoke, so we'll get to see lots of places. Let's go. Not that we really can get to a store now at the minute or anything like that, so... Uh, repair burst. You're informed by a nearby station of your fight for the rebels, they offer you... Does repair burst repair the ship or equipment? System damage minus eight, so it fixes systems. But takes missiles, which we have none of. No missiles, yet. Yeah. Although the UI does cover up that. I can't move it anywhere else, that's not clever. Let's jump, I want to fight. Oh, distress! I'm in distress. Come on. Uh, we arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt when we find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between... Um, destroy and loot. Oh! Uh, you decide that the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull. Before you can scrap the remaining, another pirate ship flashes on your radar. Perhaps he saw your deed, or perhaps he wants to claim the spoils for themselves, but for whatever reason, they're charging their weapons. Okay. It's a pike beam and a hull smasher laser. Fire the boarding drone. Both you guys come here. We're going to teleport into the cockpit. No, into the weapons. And he landed in the cockpit, so that's fine, yep. Yeah. Oh, but it is two mantises on two mantises. Um, we may actually have to run away here. Ideally, I'd like him fighting the, the drone. Come on, kill the drone. Stop coming after me, get the... Go for the drone. Go to the drone. Okay, well, we got them back, at least. That was a little bit more harrowing than I thought. I don't think they can kill... I don't think they can get through my shields. Yeah, that's one level of shields, and the beam fires. The beam doesn't pierce shields of pipe beam, does it? No. So we're healing up. We get a burst laser mark one. Which is effectively a dual laser that requires two power. But, again, it's something we can sell. And we won. You know, so I'm... And I, I, one thing I don't quite understand is, you know, when we destroy a ship like this, I think 
It should either blow up when you get nothing, or you should get one of them weapons. If you manage to take the ship alive, why can't we strip whatever weapon we wanted off it? Alright, back to positions, guys. We've got 17 scrap. Actually... Yeah, we'd have, like, only 5% dodge chance at the moment. Oh, but anyway, let's jump. We've got more people to fight, more people to board. Hopefully... We don't meet an automated scout. I'm going to try and get the weapon power up to 2. Uh, because if we meet an automated defense thingy... Not automated defense thingy, a um, landing a ship or a autopiloted ship, then we're screwed. We'll never surrender to slay the scum. Send a boarding drone. In fact, again, guys, come on. Where's the boarding drone land? In... Okay, they go to fight it. So let's land in the cockpit with the rest. Two on one, we've definitely got them. Although, the burst laser... Ooh, our shield just got back up in time. And being that that's got a breach, I don't really want to... deal with that, so I'll just let him die. Yes, 19 scrap. And anyway, we best bring our guys home. Uh, to the med bay, guys. I do like how the med bay's right next to the... the teleporter. I think that's good. Ship, how much is the next level of weapons? Okay, so the first one's actually quite expensive. 40 required. But we've got the power. So as soon as I have 40 scrap, then we can do it. So probably the next jump. We'll have enough. Sounds like a plan. Oh, crap, fire. Fire an automated guy. It's an auto guy, but he has doors. I'm gonna send the boarding drone and just see what he can't take, what he can take out. And not enough power. How about the med bay? That's a repair bloody weapon, isn't it? It's not gonna do us any good. If you can take out the weapons, actually, then I'm quite happy to. Oh, oh good, the missiles missed. Go on, take out the weapons. Shouldn't take that long. Oh, just a, no, no, no! Don't leave them with the missiles. Take. If the missiles are really missing, uh, incoming solar flare. This is a bad thing. My weapons doesn't bother me actually. I think what we're gonna do is we're not gonna be boarding this ship. So actually, let's open our doors, close doors around our guys, because it's the best way to deal with a fire. Oh, no. Close doors all the way around our guys, please. Yeah, that was a bit dumb of me. Now, this guy is going to die, I think, eventually. So whether we can deal with the fires in the meantime. And actually, you, if you run into the cockpit, we can vent this as well. I don't know how clever that is, but we'll go for it. Can the boarding drone kill an automated scout? Solar flare imminent. We get fire in the... In the weapons. That makes no difference to us. And we destroy the auto scout. I like it. Leaving behind... Okay. Now, the flare's just gone. So if we close all doors... Can I even consider fixing Munro before we jump? Okay, things are healed. Both of you dive into there. Actually, Alex, you're already fully healed. Go back to the cockpit. Munro. Let's see if he can't get some repairing on the weapons. No, solar flare imminent, that's fine. Back to stations and we're gonna jump. Uh, jump towards the nebula. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get through all of them with ease, actually, because we're going to slow down the rebel fleet by entering. Good, we missed the solar flare event. Uh, once we arrive, uh, once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate ship 
seems to have advanced hacking tools and they've tried... Okay, but... Usually that means that they're taking out our engines, but to be honest, we don't have enough power in the engines anyway. It's not going to make much difference. Okay, guys, we're off over to see them. And where are you landing? You're landing in the cockpit. So we're going to take out their weapons. A two on two. Actually, that's not brilliant for us. Depends how quick Rockman dies. Oh, come on. Okay, actually, you guys run away. Go to their O2. Why is the uh, assault drone not assisting? NG dead. Okay, you're really attacking the wrong guy there. And to that, because I don't want to lose him, yeah, I have so few people. Let's call them back. Get them healed up. They're going to go try and attack that, uh, that drone? I don't think they are. Again, I don't... Uh, I don't think they've got the equipment to get through our shields. I didn't notice before they said the two layers of shields. It sort of makes us quite strong. Let's go back over and say hello again. I mean, the weapons... Oh, they're coming in to see hello with the weapons and we kill them, that's fine. The drone could have probably have done the job instead, but... Yeah, I'm happy doing it the way we did it. Fix the weapons up, because we're also going to buy an extra thing of power. Which means we can unpower the O2 and I can get the burst laser back up once we have it fixed. Oh, and it gave me a broken power bar this time. I thought we noticed with my uh, Type D that it gave you a functioning power unit. I've had to repair two units now. Or is that a quirk of being AI? Anyway guys, back to position, we now have some weapons to fire at them, so... Effectively it just helps us if we... Oh no, wait. Why don't I have free power? That's, screw it, I can get the extra power beam, that's fine. Yeah, but we can get the boarding drone and we can get the burst laser out, so that's good. Let's jump into the nebula. Ion Storm, so let's see, let's work out what the hell we're going to be doing. Uh, you jump into the sector of a nebula, beset by plasma storms, and an automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves into attack. Automated rebel scout, which means I'm going to want to be, be wanting to fire my burst laser. At the moment, I don't have any power for anything. So we're going to have to go down one layer of shields, power up the burst laser. They've got missiles. I think one level of shield should be okay with the drone. You know, he shouldn't be able to fire quick enough. They don't have any shields. Uh, where's he going to land? Okay, you missed. Oh, no, you didn't. You hit the O2. That's extremely bad, both of you. Why is the burst laser taking so long to charge? Uh, both of you... You come down to the O2, please. I don't want the O2 down. Oh, no, it's not taking so long to charge. We've already taken out the weapons. That's fine, then. Uh, because of how long it takes you to charge, I mean, repair. I mean, we know how long it takes for AI to repair. We should be good. At least for one time to fire on the drone. Then we'll focus on the weapons again. Just at least one more time. You guys, back to your stations, please. O2's back up. We're getting our oxygen back. Then maybe send the next one onto the cockpit. Make sure they can't dodge. Although they haven't been doing much of it anyway. I don't think they have the power to dodge. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, they had the power to dodge that one there, didn't they? Okay, they've got their weapons back up. Fire up the weapons, please. I don't want to take any shots. Good. Now to the cockpit. 
I was going to say, which will mean the drone's not long to be back up either. But I'd rather stop them dodging. Now take out the drone. Shields would have been so much better to take out early on. Okay, they missed. And we are going to killy killy. Oh no. Of course we're not going to killy killy because we had to get through the shields. A burst laser mark 2 on this would be nice. It was saying power requirement, but to take three shots instead. Ship explodes and leave behind a substantial. Yep, good. Uh, keep going through the nebula, although we may we may pop out once or twice just to get an extra couple of jumps. Trade missiles for drone parts. We don't fire missiles. We do fire drone parts, and you're giving me more than. You know, more than a fair trade, so let's do it. Pop out the nebula here, see if we can't find someone to fight. Yes! Uh, we stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. Okay. Uh, they're trying to escape. I have a boarding drone. And... It's a lot of firepower they've got, so... <laughs> let's get things powered up. That'd be nice. Have you guys... Oh, breaching the O2. Guys, you, you really might want to focus on the O2. Okay, they now can't dodge or escape. And I'm pretty sure they're going to die really, really quickly. They tried fighting with my O2. No, don't kill them. Good, yeah, we got all of them out. Left that a bit close there. Alex was a bit close to death. Uh, bring you guys back. Obviously straight to the med bay. Come on guys, heal up a bit quicker. Monroe, back to the engines. Alex, return to the cockpit. And we jump. Back into the nebula. Once we're here, we have the choice of one, two, or one, two. So we'll see what... Oh, we could maybe go one, two, three. Ooh, that's going to be cutting it close, though. Let's do it! <laughs> this is why I die so quickly. Um, you recognise the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you. Uh, do we want a rock man? No, we're not paying for one anyway. Attack the Slaver Skull. None of pa oh, power down the med bay. Boarding drone powered up. We're going to jump onto their ship as well. Ooh, in the weapons. I like that. Are they the clone bay? So what we're going to do is we're going to land our guys in the clone bay. Because if they do come back, then it's going to be a delay. Ooh, is that my teleporter down? How do I get back if the teleporter's damaged? Please say that's not run over. Uh, burst laser... is what I should have been using to take down the clone bay. Being said, let's go for the weapons. Okay, that's all good. I'm hoping that's going to be them dead. I still don't know what we do about a... Liam's going to go fix the... Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Uh, it appears that the slavers did not survive the fight. You find their burnt bodies in the hold. No, I stabbed them to death with my mantis. Uh, but before you strip the ship, you hear a faint noise from the walls. You break off a hatch. A latch? And a slave falls out of the hidden compartment. Crap coughing. Oh. Why am I struggling to read the word once? Once recomposed, the slave offers to join your crew. That's good. Okay. Now, the fact that he's on my ship means he can fix the sodding... <laughs> ...teleporter so that we can come back. Come on, bring the teleporter back, please. Now, bring you guys home. 
and help fix up the med bay, then you can you know, heal yourselves. Thank you, Liam. Uh, you proved yourself very, very useful, actually, already. <laughs> I'm thinking Liam's going to take over from Alex on the... As a pilot. And Monroe, you still try and work the engines. Alex, go to the weapons. Although, chances are you're going to be diving off a ship. Liam might even be joining you. So I, I sort of like the... You know, all, all aboard, their ship type approach. Back into the nebula. Hopefully we slow them down enough. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact... Okay, we attack it. If it's trying to avoid me, I'm definitely going to attack it. And because we've got such a large weapons bay, let's all dive across. Yeah, I can get all three of you in there and taking out their weapons quite quickly. And it means that we can double team their crew. So far they haven't been able to get through my shields because they haven't timed their weapon blast properly. And this is their crew dead and we get an anti-personnel drone. So we could defend our ship with a drone if we're all on the other ship. Yay. More drones. Heal up guys. Alex, somehow you didn't take any damage, but everyone else did. Oh, and I never saved the new positions. I think we best do that. Save positions, unpower med bay. What do we want to upgrade on this? I think dodge chance is going to be nice. You know, for while we're off the ship, but then again... Save up to 150 and get third level of shields. It'd be even before we've left the first sector. Just tank out the damage as best we can. We may have done too many jumps, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to what I said anyway. Brilliant ion and intruders aboard. You find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby space for remains of a battle. And you begin to harvest some useful material when you hear some sounds on board. Okay, so it's just a boarding party. And where the hell are they? Ah, uh, they're somewhere around here. They've gone to my teleporting bay. Well, actually... Oh no, they're fighting us! Let's run away! Now they're fighting us in the med bay. That I like. You know, we're not going to die from this. I don't think we have to worry about anything else, you know, just the fighting of them. And we're healing almost at a rate as what we're losing. Cool, our first guy's got a level rank up, and both of them have now. Now, let's close all the doors, give it a little bit of chance for the oxygen to come back. So I was listening just to see if I could hear any more members of the crew. I don't think I can. Yeah, that should be good. Go and fix it. Then we'll send you back to your positions. And you left that fight in perfect health. Technically, you left the med... Well, I was going to say, you left the med bay in better condition than when you entered. Yeah, that's sort of what med bays are for, isn't it? Why can't I jump? Oh, because we have no engine power. That seems fine to me. Actually, no. Have the shields ready, because the shields do sort of pre-ignite when you come into a battle, so... That's better. We might get away with this. I probably shouldn't have, but we might. Upon arriving at the beacon, you detect a distress call. Local scans reveal that a Federation transport is under attack. A, the Federation ship. You power up your weapons, and actually we do power up our weapons. We pause. So you can do what I freaking want you to do. And again, I think we're going to jump aboard. You know, we can just go into their weapons, hopefully take them out. Where are you landing? You've landed next door as well. Oh, yeah, you need to be powered up. So just all come up, all come aboard. They choose to fight us and not the drone. Which, to be honest, is a little bit annoying because our guys could actually die, but we're fighting humans, so the mantis should kill them. Then you can work on helping out the other guys. And they can't get through our shields. 
Uh, with the crew of the rebel ship dead, you salvage what you can, contact the re remaining Federation fleet. Uh, their ship looks to be on the verge of destruction and life signs have been fading. Lock onto all remaining life signs and beat up aboard your ship, yes. And we gain Emma, a little powery person who's a good fighter. Oh, uh, and we get a quest marker in the next sector. That's good. Well, there's one thing for sure, Emma. You're not going to be... Actually, the, the, the captain. You're coming to fight with us. We've now got a full boarding party. We're only 50 scrap away from getting third level shields. Uh, where do we station Emma? I guess, yeah, we could station her there. Doesn't really make any difference, because at the moment we have plenty power. And, you know, have her there, then teleport her over. You know, just have a medbay unpowered. So I guess we have you manning the shields. No, no, no. Uh, yes. Damn it. I, I was thinking, well, get to man the doors, because then, you know, we can check, but that doesn't use power. So we might as well have a... No, don't power that, power that. Fact. That way round, please. We're gonna jump. There's a store. And I'm pretty sure we've effed ourselves in the A and we're having to fight the rebels. But we've got a store and we've got a hundred scrap. And in fact, sell. Anti-personnel drone don't care. Heal beam, sorry, repair beam. The, for the situation where it could, could come in handy is when your shields are completely taken down and your weapons are completely taken down. Well, if your weapons are completely taken down, the repair beam's no good. So we're gonna sell it. Defense drone. Um, basically, it'll shoot out the missiles. Let's, let's see what's there. Mind control. Get another guy on their ship, you know, on our side when we're fighting. It's on page two. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is get, gonna get mind control. This is your final ship's system. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. And then we're gonna buy another Mantis. Which means you can probably stay in the shields the whole time. Despite the fact you've actually got something in your weapons, I'm pretty sure... I see. Ship. Crew. Uh, provides power. Maximum health is reduced. Explodes on death, damaging enemy crew. Yeah, well, I'm not... I think these are going to be our boarding party. I could do with another member of crew to be the captain then. Or somebody else to join the boarding party instead. Let's jump, and the exit, we are going to have to fight the rebels. So let's just check things are powered up that need to be. They are. Let's jump. Come on. I think we've got them. I think we've got them, though. You found the exit beacon, but rebels beat you there first. You must survive long enough that you're able to jump. Okay. Well, you four. Get ready to dive on board. We're going to launch a boarding drone. You are actually going to be better off as the captain for this one anyway. We're going to jump into their weapons. The drone's taking out the clone bay. We should have their crew killed rather quickly. Yes. That doesn't mean we're going to be able to jump. Thankfully, because we've got one person there left piloting, we can actually jump. Um, have they run out of crew already? It appears so. In that case, kill him. Ooh, um, that's not nice. Okay, bring you guys back. So I'm pretty sure that's... Oh no, they got one member of crew left. And why is my drone not fighting him? He should be. I think he must be. You guys... Who's not damaged? Alex isn't damaged. You can go help with that breach. 
everyone else get he healed up. Well, I've never even found a bloody blast laser. Okay, take out the clone bay, because I think that's bringing them back. Oh, that didn't do anything. A uh, human? No, um... What do I power down? Right, power down. Yeah, heal them, please. NG. Uh, NG. Energy. Come on. Captain, get your freaking thing fixed so that we can go. And we can't go yet because we're not healed up. I mean, we're not uh, got the engines powered up enough. Ooh, big miss. Big miss. Things they keep coming back to freaking life. I mean, they actually killed my boarding drone there. Well, we're just going to jump when we can. No, so, you stay here. Liam, go to the med bay. Did I not save the positions again? Okay, back to positions. That means you to the shields. And you... Drone? No. You to the doors. I never used the bloody mind control. And they're proper doing damage again now. Do I bother jumping across? No. So we power that down. If I waste, I'm wasting another drone, screw it. I want to see them. Where do we land? And that means I can mind control there as well. Which counts as killing them. Okay, good. I mean, we wasted a drone, but we got one fuel. Yeah, that doesn't seem worth it. The next sector we have a choice between rock controlled and energy controlled. I'm gonna go rock, because I'm thinking this route here is all red, and all red is usually good for the amount of scrap and stuff we get, but we do need to heal up, and I should have done that at the store. I know only 14, but you know, it would have been something. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. Or in, the, in this sector, that's all the jumps we're able to make. So as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Goodbye.